So I'm just going to throw this together really quickly in response to a tweet that Platinum Games Kamiya, the official Twitter account of game developer Hideki Kamiya, made to me in response uh, to a tweet that I sent to him out of the blue because I was a little bit uh, curious myself. The tweet that I sent was regarding, of course, a topic that I'm very adamant about, customizable control schemes in games. The tweet was, and I quote, I really love all of your games, but how come they usually lack custom controls? End quote. To which Hideki Kamiya responded, which, you know, to be fair, at least he did respond, and I do appreciate that, and he did so in a fairly timely manner. He responded by saying, cuz not necessary. Um... I'm a little blown away by this re by this reply. I'm just going to say that up front. Um, customizable controls in games are, strictly speaking, only a positive thing. I've ran through the gamut several times of customizable options for bindings in games, and in all of them, I have yet to come across any sort of potential negative. And for him to say that they're not necessary when we're, we're <laughs> I'm recording this in the middle of Awesome Games Done Quick 2016, who just had a run of uh, Transformers Devastation, the latest Platinum game to be released by speedrunner Half Coordinated. Half Coordinated did a speedrun of Vanquish. Now, something to know a little bit about Half Coordinated. Half Coordinated is a disabled gamer. He is a player who only has the ability to uh, fully use his left hand for gaming. And during this time, for both Vanquish and Transformers Devastation, he turned out, simply put, amazing runs. Not just because of his disability, but because the runs were good on their own merits in and of themselves. Now... Half Coordinated takes, you know, a, a very different approach to the issue of custom controls from what I do. He is actually one of the disabled gamers who does need custom controls to have as comfortable of an experience playing games as possible. Now, this, you know, we talk about accessibility in games a lot, and that definitely applies here. That is definitely a part of this discussion. But there's a difference between difficulty of, you know, interacting with the mechanics and the difficulty of interacting with your game, period. And Half Coordinated goes in with, no pun intended, a handicap when it comes to playing games. And Platinum has a consistent problem where they have an issue of having um, disabled gamers play their games. And I'm really just going to let Half Coordinated himself, coming off of his good run at AGDQ 2016, talk about what custom controls mean for him and an open letter that he made to Platinum. And... If I want to say something to Platinum Games for a moment, sure. that's okay. You have the floor. Um, so, Platinum, if you are watching, um, you are great about making your games accessible as far as difficulty, a full range of difficulty levels, but con custom controls. <laughs> if you could start putting custom controls oh, in your games, that would be greatly appreciated and really fit with your whole goal of making the games accessible to all people, basically. So, do that. <laughs> So simply put, I really don't see, Kamiya, how exactly they're not necessary. I, I'm, I'm baffled by this reply, quite frankly. You make interactive games, Kamiya. That's what you do. But this is something that only helps the interactive elements of your medium. It bridges the gap between the player and the game that much more easily. And the reply to why you don't do it more often, an option that, quite frankly, doesn't take that much effort to implement, and a system that only actively improves the gameplay, was because it was not necessary. Now, I suppose the fact that Half Coordinated was able to play your games at all, period, is evidence to that. Yes, in the strictest sense possible, it is not required that he use custom controls to play your games full stop. But by his own words, being able to play them comfortably, or at least get into them comfortably, is a matter where they are more necessary. So, 
this statement, simply put, is not factually accurate, and it's an attitude that I was really not expecting to hear from Hideki Kamiya. And judging by the general wave of recent games that have come out from Platinum, not even the ones that Kamiya himself have directed, this seems to be an attitude that the company as a whole seems to be fully on board with. I'm not sure they would make the exact same statements that they are not necessary, but the actions are going to speak a hell of a lot louder than words. So, simply put, everybody at Platinum, please, do, fix this attitude. It doesn't help anybody at all. My name is Vash TSB, and I'm going to stop bitching now.